In this video, we'll look at a few examples to practice thinking about the spread of a normal distribution. Remember that the spread of a normal distribution is typically measured with something called the standard deviation. So it says, in each of the following examples, complete the statement. Fill in the first blank in each statement with the mean and the second blank in each statement with the standard deviation. Assume that the standard deviation is the difference between the mean and the first tick mark to the left of the mean. Okay, so let's look at some examples. Example A, the typical measurement is approximately blank in the bank, give or take something. So the typical measurement, that's going to be the mean because that, for a normally distributed data, the mean is the value with the highest probability of occurring. So in this case, we can see that the mean is down here at $500. So the typical measurement is $500. So maybe that's the typical amount someone has in the bank. Give or take blank. So here we're going to fill in the standard deviation to give people a sense for how spread out this data is. If the typical measurement is $500, but everyone has about $500, that's different than the typical measurement being 500, but the data being really spread out all between zero and $1,000 or something like that. So we can look at the first tick mark because it told us that that's where the standard deviations are. And we can see that we go from $450 to $500. So that's a difference of $50. And it's the same on either side because we're going from 500 up to 550. So what that means is the standard deviation is $50. We don't say the standard deviation is 550. We look at the difference between the mean and the next value up there. So the typical measurement is approximately $500 in the bank give or take $50. So if I saw that, I would think, okay, so most people have between $450 and $550, because that's $500, give or take $50. All right, let's look at example B. All right, the typical measurement is approximately blank minutes played, give or take blank minutes. Okay, so again, in the first blank, we put our mean because that's the typical value for a normally distributed data set. And we can see that is 64 minutes played. So that is the mean, give or take how many minutes. So we wanna have a sense for how spread out is this data. Is everyone around 64 or is there really a big range in the results of how many minutes are played? So we look at the next tick marks. We can go up to 70 and down to 58. And then we have to think about how far apart is 58 from 64. Well, that's six minutes apart. And from 64 to 70 is also six minutes. Now these should always be the same if the data is normally distributed because one of the properties of the normal distribution is that it's symmetrical about its mean. But it is good to just double check that those numbers are actually the same to make sure you didn't make a mistake. So that will be our standard deviation, six minutes. So if I saw this, that the typical measurement is approximately 64 minutes played, give or take six minutes, I would say, okay, so most people play between 58 and 70 minutes. All right, finally, we'll look at example C. The typical measurement is approximately blank ounces, give or take blank ounces. And this is a measurement of ketchup or data about ketchup in a bottle in ounces. We can see that the mean is right here at 20 ounces, 20.0 ounces. So that's the typical measurement. And give or take what? So we wanna figure out the standard deviation so we know sort of the spread of this data. And I can see that the next tick mark is over here at 20.1 and down here at 19.9. So this data is not spread very much. There's only a difference of 0.1 ounces in each case. So that means that most bottles of ketchup have really close to 20 ounces. 
the standard deviation is only 0.1 ounces. And that means that most ketchup bottles have between 19.9 and 20.1 ounces of ketchup in them.